It's hurricane season, and the question arises of how do we stay connected to loved ones when lines are down. Raul Enriquez from New America teamed up with the organizers at The Point to host a forum with small business leaders about a device that has been provided to keep communication lines open with free Wi-Fi when disaster strikes. What we learned in uh, Red Hook when Sandy hit is that um, most infrastructure goes down during a hurricane or any kind of disaster. And Red Hook already had a small mesh network, much like what's over there, already operating in the neighborhood as a test. And um, New American OTI at the time had set it up and it worked. It stayed on, everything else was out, and that's how people in the neighborhood communicated. And then FEMA came in, gave them a link to the internet, and that was the infrastructure for the time of recovery. And so we thought we can expand that idea and um, spread it around the city. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, you know, this conversation started about a year ago, roughly speaking, like maybe late last summer, um, springtime, and the folks from New America came down, Greta, um, and some other folks, and, and the idea was, again, they had this idea. They wanted to bring Wi-Fi to the neighborhood. They knew that we connected with the community. They knew that we had a rapport with the community, and that we also worked with businesses to some degree, right? And we had the outreach component, um, and that was the initial connection. You know, they were looking for a group that can partner with them, and again, that can bring this to life. It helped Red Hook Brooklyn during Sandy and I think it could help the peninsula Hunts Point also since we're the same type of terrain. 80% um, of New York City's food comes through Hunts Point, maybe 90%. I don't have the right statistics, but I think that we need a backup system here. Well, I'm really committed to resiliency work because I run the picture framing business, but I also work here at the point. So I've been really um, sort of embedded in this kind of consciousness of what kind of world we're living in right now. And I think right now, at this particular moment, it's very, very clear that this kind of work has to happen all over the place. And I'm really proud to be part of this movement. Yamil Laura, community coordinator at The Point, has dedicated his time to working with Raul to train a group of students called the Digital Stewards on how to build the free Wi-Fi kits. It is so important, it could save lives. You know, we become so accustomed to have carriers and to, to be connected to any company that we don't know how important it is to be able to talk to each other without these phones and these services. And the technology is available today, but we are not aware that we need to be more self-reliant. If you're a small business owner interested in finding out more information about these free Wi-Fi kits, you can contact Community Coordinator Yamil Laura at wirelaura at thepoint.org. For Bronsnet, I'm Veronica Guiti.